Rob's backyard project has really got his neighbours offside. He's installed a wind turbine. While most locals want it torn down, Rob says it's the way of the future. This is the future and it's staying where it is. You know, it's so big, it justifies common sense. On Victoria's Phillip Island, a backyard wind turbine has locals wound up. It just needs to come down. It's revolting and it's unnecessary. Just shy of 11 metres tall, the turbine is part of a renewable energy system on the property installed by the owner, which also includes extensive solar panels. I go to bed at night and I'll think about this, that and the other. Three hours sleep maybe. It's not all good. But it's the turning tower that's generating concern for neighbours. Although we haven't heard it spinning yet, it will be noisy and uh, I'll expect that there'd be a lot of complaints coming the council's way over noise. Completed but not yet active, the turbine rises up above neighbouring fences and can be seen from Chris Broadley's place two doors down. I just don't feel relaxed down here anymore since that went up. So uh, people say, oh, well, you get used to it, but I don't think you should have to. Chris's main issue, what might happen if the wind really whipped up the turbine? It's so big and if it fell over it would fall into the neighbour's place most likely and uh, you know someone could be killed. But is this structure a turn for the worse or is it just the winds of change blowing through? I'm qualified to do this, we need to do this and I'm doing it for the right reasons. If people aren't happy to do that, then they're environmentally irresponsible. The turbine was built and installed by father of two, Rob McKittrick, on his coastal property. I don't understand why people limit themselves to where they can do great things. People just should give something a go. I've got kids, I'm going to leave a world for them. This is all part of it. We've got to do everything we can. Rob's a qualified Sparky with 30 years experience and an accreditation in renewable energy. There's a ultra high sensor to sense the high speed winds and there's a brake that actuates and stops the wind turbine in high winds. Neighbours have raised concerns around noise from the turbine. Do you think that could be an issue? I'll pull it down if it is. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want a house with a wind turbine or with noise. The level of noise will be somewhere around the lower end of an acceptable air conditioner according to council standards. In a statement, local government said, unfortunately, council has no power to address the proposed issues associated with the installation of the structure. The only authority that can intervene to support and address the community's concerns is the state government. Town planner, Bill Kuznichuk. We need to establish whether or not um, he was doing the wrong thing. I don't think he has. There's a, um, a gap in the planning and building provisions as they relate to micro -renew renewables like um, this, this domestic wind turbine. Owners, corporations. Bill says no regulation exists in the area to specifically cover the turbine, but he believes issues like a turbine's height and its noise levels need to be set out in a nationwide code. It's not going to be as loud as the wind turbines that you have, the large ones on farming properties. Especially as the expected growth in renewables almost guarantees that this issue is coming to a neighbourhood near you. In Rob's case, his is the only wind turbine in the strait, but as we go forward, do you think it will become more and more common to see a wind turbine yeah, well, in a front garden like that? Well, Rob won't be the Lone Ranger. There'll be, there'll be more and um, they've just got to be put in the right place. And Rob, for one, is a fan of that trend. We've got to do these things anything we can. If you can do something in your home, do it. If it's a little, small, little wind turbine, just a small one, go for it. Mm -hmm.